What's going on everybody? LK here, back at it again with another video and today we're going to start talking about slightly more advanced concepts, right? So, and people have been asking in comments for a while about this, so I'm going to take it one at a time. Uh, I should be releasing the two videos pretty much at the same time, right? So this video is about the option select guard, also called, unfortunately also called fuzzy guard. I won't go into why it's called fuzzy guard, I will be calling it option select or OS guard pretty much the entire duration of this video. Um, hopefully it catches on more. I want it to catch on more, but this is about the option select guard. So what is option select guard? So let's take this off, take some of this info off that we don't need and show the virtual controller. Okay. So if you look at the virtual controller here, Option Select Guard is basically a defensive technique that you could use in all fighting games. Definitely 2D fighting games. I don't know about 3D fighting games. Definitely 2D fighting games where the assumption is the high option and the low option do not hit at the same time. So if the high option and the low option do not hit at the same time, then theoretically you should be able to defend both. And that is where the concept of Option Select Guard comes into play. In Dragon Ball, Option Select Guard is strong. I won't say it's too strong, it's strong. One, they are actual high-low mix-ups to hit at the same time. But two, there's a lot of things where there are sets of options where like you can't actually Option Select Guard all the sets of options at the same time. Uh, but we can go into that later. The main thing is, how do you practice Option Select Guard? So a really basic way to do it would be to do a string like this. This would be a nice little basic primer for you. So I can show it how it's done. So this would be a very basic example of Option Select Guard. So here we have two strings. They start the same, but one has an overhead option, the universal overhead, and one has a low option, where I go into crouching light, crouching medium. So in this recording, because they don't hit at the same time, I could defend both. And you can see it in my virtual controller that, oh my god, that uh, I'm defending both. So the thing is about this game, and most Arxis games in general, is that... Is that... Um, when you are blocking, what the game shows you, so what the game shows you here is that Bardock is physically standing up and blocking, but my guard is low. I'm actually blocking low in that animation. So the game will show you in a certain state, but you could switch. Uh, this is, as I explained before, why fuzzies work in general, but this is also why you're able to do the option set guard because when you just because the game shows you in one state doesn't mean you can't switch the state. So as long as things don't hit at the same time, you can defend using option set guard. So let's do another example of option set guard. Uh, so we have an assist here. Let's make it a little bit tougher because this one is not the best example of all time. Uh, so let's do something like this. Oh, he needs a little bit of box on. My bad. You try to do it, keep it simple. Whoops. Okay. I should have this prepared in advance. My bad, but it's okay. Actually, it's fine that it's like that, to be honest. Or, it, or actually, how about this? There you go. So here, the high and low don't hit at the same time. Oh, I need, I need this back, I need this back. Okay. Now there's a couple of points you want to keep in mind when you use option set guard. So one is, you might have noticed, like, I don't actually always do it, let's say. Uh, a good way to explain this is that context matters a lot, right? So what I mean is the situation you get put in, you need to make the choice of whether or not you're going to react or whether or not you're going to use the defensive technique to get through it. 
So in a situation like this, you could just sit there and see the high, right? Because the high, it's not like the high is fast. He's doing IED jump H. I could sit there, crouch block, and then see the high, and then switch my guard, right? Or you could choose to do the offset guard every time to get through, like this. So if you look at the virtual controller, I'll do it every time for a little while. Oops, did it a little bit too fast. So, and this this is uh, one of the weaknesses of using options of the card. So, the reason why the context matters is because you don't want to pick it at a time where things aren't locked out, for lack of a better descriptor. So, for example, this is pretty common. Uh, from like my early playing Dragon Ball. I didn't really know how to defend strings very well when I started the game, so um, if you want to talk about, let's say, the weakness of OS Guard is the way you hit people for doing it is you do things to mess up their timing so that you hit them in the spot where they're not guarding the right way because they're trying to cover both options. So if you have just an airtight high-low, if you're playing Kibu or something, or you're doing a snap mix-up, they, if you, if you have a well-built one, they cannot OS guard your mix-up, thus a 50-50 where they have to guess, right? That's one very clear way of beating it. The other thing you could do is put something, put some option in there that aims to hit their uh, option side guard timing. So if, in this case, it would be... Let's say, um, let's say I did something like this, right? So let's say I did do one, two. Oh, well, we got jump forward, so one, two. I did a slow one on purpose, and then we will add a third. Okay, we'll add a third. So technically, you should be able to defend all of this. He's not always in normal. Oops. All right, you, since I'm not in block zone, you can see like my visual. I'm switching my guard to get through. So one of these things, the jump heavy. The jump heavy is the thing that's messes with my timing. I'm able to block the land low and the fake low, the air dash high lift low, but I'm not able to block the slow overhead because of my timing. And that's where the mix-ups start happening. So these are kind of like layered kind of things. Preferably, you want, if you're trying to beat OS Guard, you really want to just have a 50-50 on deck. But there are types of builds, and you can see it in like high-level players of Dragon Ball. Like, you can see that they have builds where they have A and B option, but like if the opponent is defending both, they use like a C option to get everything together. So as a reminder, pretty much what this is, just to wrap everything up, is that the basic idea is quite literally you go from your low blocking state to your high block and then back to low. Because the rule in fighting games is that you should block low, switch high. You should block low, switch high. So this is quite literally that motion. You do down back, back, down back. You use this when you're not sure what to do or when you labbed out the situation and you're like, oh, if I block like this, I cover all the options. That's the general time you want to do it. It's contextual though, so you don't want to rely too much on it and people can target your defense, like target you if you do this too much. So it's a strong technique, but more experienced players would be like, oh, they're doing this. so." I'll do this to try to counter it. Okay, that's it for this guide. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I think the idea is pretty simple, but I will definitely help out with clearing up whatever questions you have. Like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.